Hi guys, it's Anne here, and today's video is my project pan for 2020 update number seven. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, the setup here is a little different because I'm in a little different of a space. I am at home right now. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I'm gonna try and make this video short and sweet. The internet here is not that great, so it'll probably take me like 12 hours to upload this. So we'll just get started. I don't have all of my products with me, but I'll just give quick updates on the ones that I do have. So the first product in my project is this Delia Organics um, nail cuticle oil. The, the little markers are starting to wear off, which is a bit problematic. I'm going to start losing them, and I don't know if I have a pen here to fix them, but I'll try and fix them. I really haven't been using this, so I'm not going to lie. It was 32.66 grams last month. It's now 32.52 grams. So that's just a difference of 0.14. I think that's fairly on par though with some of my previous months. So again, I think I've acknowledged that I will not finish this by the end of the year. So I'm not super motivated at this point to use this. And I've already talked about how I don't think this does anything for me. The next item that I have with me is the Milani Keep It Sweet Lip Scrub. And I have been using this, but very, very slowly. I've maybe used it a couple times, but I am getting really, really close to finishing it. Hopefully you can see there, like, there really is not a whole lot left. So I definitely should just power through and finish this. Uh, but again, summertime, I'm just not motivated to, to use this. It was 33.44 grams last month. It's now 32.86 grams. So uh, a difference of 0 0.58. I think that's like... That's definitely less than what I used last month, I'm pretty sure. The next item in my list is the Smith's Rose, uh, Rosebud Salve, and I'm definitely on track using this one. I'm pretty sure I've used the same amount this month as what I've used last month, and I've got a really decent sized pan in there. Again, using this up by the end of the year is probably not happening, but I'll definitely have most of it done. It was 28.77 grams last month. It is now 28.1 grams. The next item is the NYX lip primer, and this is probably the most difficult thing for me to use right now. I'm just not using lip products barely at all, partially because when I'm at home, um, I'm really just using lip balm, and then if I do go out to the store, it's like I don't want to put any lip product on because I don't want it to get on my mask. So yeah, I just really have not been using this because, and again, I'm like I said, I'm at home right now, and I don't have any lipsticks with me at all, so this is kind of a little bit pointless, but I still have used it a few times just, just to use it and it was 10.86 last month. It's now 10.82. Still trucking along with my next item. This is the Julep Lip Gloss in Lively. I could have used more than this, but I've used other. I bought a couple lip products in the month of July that I've been really excited to play with, and I've pulled out a couple of older ones that I bought last year that I barely used, so this kind of took a bit of a sideline, but I have used it. I mean, we're down to just under, I don't know if it'll focus there, just under the P there. Um, I'm gonna try and focus this on this a little bit more because uh, I'm getting to that point where it's like I'm looking at it now and I'm like the end the end is in sight and that's always motivating for me for some reason. The last update this was 24.13 grams. It's now 24.01. My next item is the Milk Lip in Cheek in Work and this is pretty much done. <laughs> you can see there's very very little product left there but I think I'm going to continue to just try and power through this through the month of August. I'm pretty sure I can still get more product there if I keep like I'm using a stippling brush and that's how I'm using it and I, I definitely think I can get a bit more out of that but I feel like I'm I'm really getting to the bottom of the barrel on this one and it's it'll be time to call it quits at the end of August. Last month this was 18.76 grams it's now 18.64 grams. The next item I have with me that I have been using, but for some reason I feel like the use this past month is not very big, although I'm looking at it and I'm thinking I definitely need to sharpen it, so that probably will make a difference. It was, it's the Color Workshop, which is like the no-name brand from like Walmart, um, just a black eyeliner, and it was 3.19, it's now 3.1, 3.1. So yeah, I'm definitely still on track to uh, finish this. In total, it's actually only 0.6 grams. Well. I guess we'll find out, <laughs> but I think it's definitely, well, I've used up 0 0.55 grams already. I've used up 0 0.6 grams already. It's definitely more than 0 0.6 grams of product. So you get your money's worth, I guess. And again, it's not a bad, not a bad liner. I mean, it's not the best. And I do have another liner here with me from the Ipsy bag that I got because I feel like that liner is a bit more, has a bit more longevity. So like if I'm actually going out to like the beach or being outside in the sun, I think this, this just wears right off. Um, but for like a day-to-day -day use, this works. 
So the next one I'm definitely powering through. It's almost done. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And you can see there, like, it's just around the edges. Again, this is one of those products that once you start using it, you get to a certain point where, like, I feel like the product's, like, super soft now. And I feel like I'm almost overusing it, but I kind of don't mind because, like, I'm almost done. So this will be done next month. Last month it was 31.32 grams. It's now 28.82 grams. So I think I've used almost as much this month as I've used like in the entire couple of months prior. Like I, I just sort of focused on this one specifically and powered through it. The other primer I'm working on is the Milk Blur Stick Primer. And again, I haven't really been using this one because I've been using the other one. This was 16.5 grams last month. It's now 15.8, which I'm pretty sure is a lot less than what I've used in previous months. But as I said, uh, definitely using the other one. I don't know if you can see, there's like a piece stuck in there. <laughs> that fell down inside, like in the thing. It's kind of weird. Anyway, the next item is my ABH Dip Brow in taupe. And again, making some real progress. <laughs> if I if I put the, the pan like this, it looks like it's making a rude symbol at me, or it kind of looks like an apple. I'm not sure, <laughs> one or the other. It might look like something else. Is that, is that like a, you know, a science? R read the pan, read the pan symbol. What does it mean? Like tea leaves? Anyway, I have been using this pretty much every day. So again, I'm getting through quite a bit of this product, I think. Last month, this was 46.7 grams. It is now 46.61 grams. Again, this is the like freebie product in this. It's kind of dumb. You can't really see how much I've used, but I use this every day. So I figured I might as well track it. It's the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion. It's pretty much my favorite uh, eyeshadow primer. Last month, it was 15.61. This month it is 15.29. I introduced this product last month because I decided to take out the Bath and Body Works gingham spray that I was using and thought this was a better fit for summertime. And you can see I'm definitely using, like I'm almost halfway through this. It was somewhere, I can't remember in the screenshot, but I'm pretty sure it was above that Sol de Janeiro uh, last time. And yeah, I've definitely like, I feel like compared to the Bath and Body Works, I've definitely been using this one a lot faster. Last month, this was 50.39. It's now 40.81. I think there's crickets outside. Being a little, a little chatty chatty. The second to last product I have with me right now is, is my Franken bronzer. So you can see here, I've actually hit pan. Um, that's what those these little spots are right here. I've actually hit pan on this already. And again, I feel like I'm, I'm definitely flying through this one, particularly because I'm already like getting a tan and this isn't I kind of regret bringing this one home because I think the other one would have been a bit more fitting, but if I do layer this up, I do get sort of a nice bronzed effect. Um, and I've also been using uh, another product, this one. This is the Nude Sticks, uh, what do you call it? Nudies Matte, and this is in the shade Sunkissed. And I like this because it's a bit reddish, so you can probably see the two different tones. Like this is very, very red. Um, and then this is like a normal bronzer. So. I can kind of layer up and get an interesting bronze look and because I'm, I'm getting a bit of a tan it, it's it's all working out really nicely anyway yeah I'm, I am happy with this and, and I'll definitely I feel like I I can pretty much finish this by the end of the year I think if I keep using it the way I'm using it the only thing that's maybe preventing me from using it a bit more is it does seem to get a bit of hard pan on it so I definitely have to really get in there with the brush uh, it started at 50 no sorry 60 5.37 it's now 64.36 and then the last item that i have right now is this covergirl it's the covergirl clean press powder in 230 classic beige and i've already i've already hit pan which again not surprised about because when i introduced this i'm pretty sure you can see in the picture you can see the rings like i could see the rings already um, and this was like the powder that i used to keep in my office so i definitely used it and i do use a very big brush with this so like the pan is wearing pretty good like it's not like a spot pan so again i feel pretty confident that i can finish this be by the end of the year and it started at 59.26 and i'm already down to 57.1 grams so that's a difference of 2.16 grams so i think that's uh pretty good it's a it's a 10 gram product and there's definitely less than 10 grams so if i kind of do the mental math there um I, i'm definitely on track to to finish this by the end of the year so that's it. That's my project pan update for 2020, update number seven. Um, I am doing the team project pan style, so I have been doing a rolling project pan. Currently, I do have 18 products in the project at the moment, but I don't have all of them with me because I'm currently not at home. The next update will 
probably be similar. Um, again, I'm going back and forth between my family home and my home home. So that's why like the videos for me for the next month and a half ish are probably going to be a bit spotty, but I wanted to try and give an update. I want to try and do this and see how it works. Um, hopefully I'll be able to upload this if, if you are watching it. I was able to get this up online. Anyway, if you did like this video, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada, or not in Toronto, Canada right now, but in Ontario. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you soon. Bye.